I'm uh, Bill Reberg, and I'm here today to uh, give a few thoughts about the Reberg Lecture. Actually, it's the Carolyn Y. and William S. Reberg Earth System Science Lecture Endowment. Uh, Cynthia Dennis has asked me to, to uh, not only give a, a few comments about the origin of this, this lecture, as well as uh, uh, sort of our, our vision for it, and then also to introduce the speaker. So in these remarks, I'll, I'll leave off introducing the speaker. Um, uh, Carolyn, my wife, and I were both raised believing that if you benefited from an organization or a, or a program, that, that you should find some way to give back. And so for most of our, our married life, we've done things like spend a lot of volunteer time with Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. When we lived in Alaska, all of our kids were Nordic skiers, so we worked on the competition committee for the U.S. Ski Association Nordic Division, spent lots and lots of Friday nights doing double blind draws and stuff like that. But we're a thousand miles away from Irvine, and uh, something different has to be done. So. Uh, Number one reason for establishing this lecture is that I'm incredibly proud of the department and what it's become uh, since it was first started. Uh, I was one of the initial faculty members. Uh, there were five of us to begin with uh, when we first started. There was uh, Ralph Cicerone, who of course was the, the founder of the geosciences program, and um, people that were, were hired by him right away were Darren Tui and Susan Trumbor and Michael Prather and myself. So we were the four or five that that basically designed and planned this department. And uh, I really, sort of in retrospect, considered the 16 years I spent here at UCI as uh, clearly the best of my career, uh, really a total highlight. And the thing I'm especially proud of is the, uh, the kind of process we went through uh, when we talked about and laid out the curriculum and the things that had to be part of, of, of forming a department. We all recognized we were forming a, a new department. Actually, we were the first. Uh, first academic department in a, in a new area, uh, Earth System Science. And one of the things that's always been with me is the fact that we all checked our disciplines, our previous disciplines at the door, and uh, we came into every single meeting and we all had the mindset that we were going to try to put together a, a really a good program and we, we, uh, we, we talked long and hard about what that program in Earth System Science should, should contain. This ended up being condensed into two proposals. One went to uh, the president's office, it was one to, to grant degrees, master's and PhD degrees, and it was a pretty ho-hum dry proposal. And then uh, the second proposal, a year later, after we'd been granted authority to grant degrees, was a department proposal. And so it turns out we, the thing was written so that we could use, <laughs> use pieces of it to, uh, to, to go, go back and forth uh, for both of these proposals. Um, one of the th other things I think that um, so like I say, I'm especially pleased with that process. We, we had endless meetings, we argued hard, uh, everybody making a point, but, but uh, the, the fact is I think that, that uh, with these NRC rankings that came out in 2011, uh, NS, ESS was ranked number one, and uh, I don't pretend to understand the process that was used or how to interpret the results, but it's uh, I think a, a remarkable accomplishment for an academic unit to uh, to achieve something like that in only 20 years. It was uh, really, really remarkable. So we must have done something in those, something correct in all those endless check your discipline at the door meetings. And uh, although we really didn't set out to do this, we wanted to be right, but we didn't really please the way th things have worked out this way. Uh, we were aiming for some sort of a celebration, an event that um, got the whole department together. Uh, departments exist to to discover, interpret, and transmit new knowledge, and you know what better way to do that than to have a, an outstanding outside speaker come in once a year for a for a, for a big event? Uh, it seemed like a really the way to go. Chemistry department here at Irvine has a, a lecture, the Lee lecture, and I talked extensively with John Hemiger and with with uh, Ken Janda about how that's implemented and done. It really sort of served as a, a kind of a model for my thinking. Uh, we stipulated in the endowment that the speaker be chosen by a committee of researchers. We didn't want this to be a faculty only thing. We wanted it to be faculty and all researchers, students, postdocs, and uh, even undergraduates, as long as they were associated with the lab. Uh, 
I thought that was one way that we, we ensured we ensured that not just being a buddy, but basically going far and wide and trying to find the best and most interesting person. Uh, we requested that there be a, a round table with the students and the the speaker. And uh, round tables are kind of a kind of a tradition in both uh, with outside speakers as well as with uh, job candidates here at uh, Earth System Science. They've, they, I think, are a very good way of being sure that everyone's on the same page. And uh, one of the things that we also stipulated was that the content of the speaker, the speaker's interest anyway, vary between modeling and, and, uh, and, and measurements. Uh, it turns out from the very beginning, Earth System Science has sort of had this tension or balance, if you want to call it that, between uh, modeling and theoretical studies versus field and, and measurements. And uh, the important thing is that a field like Earth System Science can't advance with one alone. It takes both to uh, keep everybody honest and to, uh, to, to really advance with a true rigorous science. And so this has been a very important hallmark of the department, and I wanted that to continue with the, uh, the lectures. Uh, I guess uh, the main thing I want to point is that that built-in tension sets ESS well apart from other similar programs across the country, and uh, I think it's, again, another hallmark of ESS. So uh, this, I guess, concludes pretty much what I have to say in the way of introduction, but I'm, uh, I hope, hope this is good for the department. I hope it works well for speakers, and I wish you all well.